The WNBA free agency negotiation period starts in a week from today on January 21st. Players can officially start signing those deals on February 1st. But I want to talk to you guys about two players that are currently under contract with the Chicago Sky that are maybe the keys to the future of the team. We're going to get into all that and more right after this. Welcome to Chicago Sky Central, and here's your host, Hayes. Welcome to another episode of Chicago Sky Central. I'm the host here, Hayes. And so, with free agency opening up in a week, I want to talk to you guys about the future of the Chicago Sky. And while I know that a lot of things are going to be dictated, when the free agency negotiation period opens up January 21st, don't be surprised if we hear a lot of deals for the Chicago Sky, even though they can't be officially signed until February 1st. But by that date, we'll have an out, we'll have an idea of what this team is going to look like in the 2023 season. Now, with that being said, I want to talk about two players that I feel are the future of this team, and I feel that the Chicago Sky should build around. And the first one up is an obvious one, and that's Kalia Copper. When you look at Ka and the impact that she's had on the team, the, the, the Bears, the Sky have a positive plus minus of five and a half points over their opponents when she's on the court. That was of last season. And while she only has one year remaining on her contract, I still think the Chicago Sky should build around her as she is the player that, to me, is the most, that she's just the best player overall. When you look at our finals run, of course, she was the best player on that run. And with Kalia Copper, when she's on, the Sky looked the best. And I know there's a lot of up and down and questions about what she's what it's going to look like, what the Sky team is going to look like next season. Is Candace Parker coming back? Ema Misa Minna, does she even come back to the WNBA where she's taking time off before um, when, when uh, there's national uh, games going on for her country, things like that? But when you look at Kalia Copper and the way that she just goes about her points, not only does she distribute the ball well and the ball movement as well, even though she only averaged last season two and a, two and a half assists per game, uh, she uh, scoring-wise, she averaged 15.7 points per game in the regular season for the Chicago Sky and uh, 16 points per game during the during the playoffs for the Chicago Sky. Kalia Copper is a bucket. And when you look at it oh, in the WNBA, it's all about fundamentals, right? It's all about the ability. How do you get to the basket? The way that she penetrates uh, and just the heart and desire she plays with. And when she's on defensively as well, it impacts the game hugely for the Chicago Sky. So regardless of what happens, and I know I've talked about it, and I do think that I hope Ema Misselman does come back regardless of what happens with Candace Parker. This, this Chicago Sky team is going to have a lot of talent on her, Rebecca Gardner, things like that. But I look at Kalia Copper as not only one of the best players on the team, if not the best player on the team for sure. She also represents um, just one of the most marketable. She understands the game. She plays with a lot of heart. When she gets into a scoring rhythm, it's huge. And when you look at even her playing out of position, like really playing the three a lot here in the last couple of seasons, just because of the way that the team was made up, if you can move Cobb back to the two, depending on what happens with the rest of the roster, be prepared, WNBA, because Cobb is a bucket. And she's a player that I think when you it, it, you almost take as a luxury sometimes, but the way that she plays the game and the way that it, it, it makes it kind of easy to build the roster around her because she's a willing passer. She can fit in almost any offense. She understands how to go about and picking her spots, which is an underrated talent in basketball as a whole is when you understand how to pick your spots and then when to defer at times. Kalia Copper to me, I just look at Kalia Copper, maybe that's just my fandom, as one of the best players in the WNBA and she plays with the greatest heart. And that's why I understand Candace Parker and her coming here and, and, and you know, the, 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 the sky getting to the finals at that time. I understand all of that. But when you really look at the future of this team and the team that you want to build, if, you, if you're trying to build to compete for the next handful of years, whenever the, the, the sky do in this offseason, Kalia Copper has to be the centerpiece of that, in my opinion. So when you look at that, I do think that uh, as we have Kyle under we have Kyle under contract, and as long as we do, the Sky can build and James Wade can build a roster that is going to compete. Now, are they going to be a Finals contender? That remains to be seen. But I look at her as not only the surefire piece on this team and the and the piece that you can build around, but just one of the best pieces in the WNBA. And people are going to want to play with Kalia Copper. Now, the player else that I'm going to bring on. And this is a player that's been with the Chicago Sky now uh, for two seasons. This is going to be her third season with the Sky. And she hasn't really gotten an opportunity to make the impact just because of the depth on the team. And that's Dana Evans. And we're going to talk some about what she's done overseas and to prove that she's a bucket and why I think she needs to have a bigger role on this team going forward. Don't get me wrong. I love Quickly. I love Slutie. I love what they're able to do. And to me, 
Vandersloot is a Chicago legend to me as far as when it comes to sports. And I'm not at any means saying that I want to see her go. I don't know what the future holds for her in free agency. I don't know what the future holds for Quigley in free agency. I don't know that. Some say that Quigley could look to retire. I don't know. Do her and Sloot come as a package deal? That remains to be seen. But regardless of whatever happens with those two players, Dana Evans needs to have a bigger role in the Chicago sky. Last season, for example, only 11 minutes per game. She averaged 4.3 points per game. The season prior to that, her sophomore season with in, in the W. Oh, that was actually her rookie season in the WNBA. Um, 23 games played with the Chicago Sky. She only averaged eight and a half minutes per game and 3.9 points per game. But where I'm going to flip it, for those that don't, and I, and I don't expect it, I don't say this is like an elitist thing, but for those that don't get to watch a lot of overseas women's basketball, Dana Evans has been playing in the Turkish League uh, this season. And I'm just going to go over her last. Or, uh, let's, let's just go through her games. So far in the Turkish League that she's been playing in, she's played a handful of games. She's played about 15 games or so. And she has point totals of 28, 12, 11, 23, two points in one game, which was weird. She was 0 for 5 in that one. Um, 37 points, 20 points, 33 points, 41 points, 22, 25, 23, and 6. The, 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 what that's proven. And not only is that, as we talk about willing passers, she's also had double doubles and most that games are flirted with close to it. And she's played an average at least 35 minutes in those games. So what does that prove? When you give Dana Evans time, when you give her the minutes, she performs and she can, she is a bucket. Now defensively, Dana Evans leaves some to be desired defensively, but as a bucket in the WNBA and somebody who can just go out and score, I look at her and Kalia Copper as being, if you have both of these players getting heavy rotation, Copper's going to get that, right? But if you add in Dana Evans, and she can even bring two-thirds of what she does overseas to this WNBA team, you have a bucket and a perennial uh, probably six-woman of the year candidate. Now, I know that's, that's a lot to be said. And even Rebecca Gardner got ahead of her in the rotation at times last season, and you have to question what is going on there, what goes into that. But Dana Evans, to me, it, it look when you look at her age, only, what, 23 years old, I believe, 24 years old, She'll be 25 in August, which is a while off. That's the type of player that you want to have in your team. And you want, I understand why she did, didn't get a lot of minutes the first couple of years. I understand that with looking at what the team was doing, looking at the makeup of the team, all the veterans we had on the team. But as going forward, especially if Candace Parker doesn't return and you're now trying to reconstruct that roster in a way that you can now compete for the next three to five years, um, probably three, three years in the WNBA. But if you can do that, Dana Evans gives you a great opportunity to have a surefire bucket getter off the bench for you. And if she does end up in the starting lineup, depending on what happens with Quigley and, Quigley and Slooty, unless you, you bring somebody else to start there, I look at that as just being a potent firepower offensive backcourt in the WNBA potentially. And I know what you guys think on that. Again, more so just a speculation video over the course of this upcoming week. That's what you guys get. I'll just kind of be going over how I see people can fit on this WNBA roster for the Chicago Sky going into next season. Let me know what you guys think on everything down below. If you want to follow us, you can do so at Chicago Sky Pod on every social media platform that we're on. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, chicagoskypod at gmail.com. Otherwise, you can follow me at CEO Hayes. Thank you so much. And if you want to leave a voicemail, we share it with Chicago Bull Central. But if you want to leave a voicemail, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Sky related. We out this mug. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of The Break, Break, Break Media. Media. Media.